Oh yeah. All right, guys. Here is the wheel that I've chosen for my project, and uh, this is uh, this wheel is by Akita Racing. There we go. This is called an AK-77. Sometimes they just call it a 477. But uh, here it is. This is what it looks like mounted up. Any of you guys that ever buy wheels on the internet or anything like that, you always want to test fit your wheels um, just like this. Make sure they fit. So this one's going to fit just exactly the way I want it. It's a 17 by 7. It's going to be very flush with the outside. Of course, we're unsprung on our suspension here, but uh, you can see we're going to be very flush uh, when the car's on the ground. And I'm real happy with it. We've been waiting quite a while for these wheels. And uh, when I say we, uh, I'm, I'm including a, a fellow YouTuber by the name of Greg Porter. Greg's channel is Greg M. Porter. I'll put that up on the bottom of the screen there. And uh, Greg kind of became part of this project uh, with the wheels. The wheels have kind of become a project within a project. And I'm really excited about it. Uh, initially, I wanted a pure white wheel. And uh, I wanted to put a blue accent uh, in the wheel. Uh, the blue being the same color as the car is going to be. Oh, and let me give you a picture of what I had in mind right here. So that's what I sort of had in mind. It's not the same wheel, but you know, you guys get the get the deal there. And uh, so I sent the picture to Greg. I was worried about putting the blue in it, and uh, you know, wanted to. One of the good things about the YouTube garages is, is that, uh, you know, we're able to, you know, there's a lot of us that talk back and forth. Um, and uh, so I had sent Greg the wheel uh, to see what his thoughts were. I sent him a picture of that wheel with the blue accent. <coughs> and I told him what kind of wheel, or I also sent him a picture of the actual wheel, this wheel right here, a catalog picture. So it wasn't very long, and uh, I got this picture in my email. And once I saw that, that just kind of blew me away. So, how appropriate, I thought. You know, I got a car here that's going to basically run on lightning. Why not roll on lightning? And uh, I thought that was one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. So, no more we talked. Uh, Greg, you know, he offered to do the, the artwork on, on the wheel. And, uh, you know, I got, I was pretty excited about it. And, uh, you know, we decided that's the way I was going to do it. And um, so we're going to use Greg's design on the wheel. And some of you guys that watch Greg, Greg's channel have uh, seen he's made videos um, where he's been practicing uh, with some lightning and, uh, and all that. So we've been waiting a long time for the wheel. And we finally got one. Now I've got four more coming. It's going to be another week or two uh, before we get them. I'm hoping we can get them before Christmas. But uh, we'll just have to see what happens. We'll get them when we get them. But... Uh, what I got to do now, um, this is kind of a joint project. We thought, uh, initially I thought I would just send Greg the wheels and then uh, bring him back when he was done with them. Um, we're going we're gonna to have five total. Uh, I want an extra one. Not so much for a spare, but just in case, you know, something freaky happens and we ruin a wheel or whatever, we'll always have an extra. So, I'd rather have an extra than not have an extra. So 
maybe by having a little bit of insurance with an extra, nothing will ever happen. But sure enough, if I didn't make an extra one, something would happen. So we decided that the shipping on this, especially now that we're going to do five wheels, originally it was going to be four, um, with the shipping, you know, we're looking at probably 175 maybe up to $200 to send the wheels out and bring them back when they're done. So we decided that uh, why not just drive out to Kansas. So uh, if I can do that for less than $200. So that's what we're going to end up doing. So in the meantime, Greg's going to practice. I'm going to send Greg the basic collars and uh, I'm also going to send him the clear coat that I'm going to use um, so we can get, you know, very accurate uh, look at what we're doing here um, before we ever do it. But there's going to be a lot of work in these wheels, guys. Um, what I'm going to do now, or here in the, near, in the very near future, is I'm going to make a fixture. Um, to set these wheels in. I'm going to get some sort of rollers or small wheels or something to run on the outside barrel of this wheel so that we can actually spin the wheel as we're working on it and completely paint it from front to rear or rear to front whatever. We can completely paint the wheel without anything touching it. So my first step for, for my part of the project is to get a fixture built and then I'm going to scuff the wheel and practice putting clear on it. Um, I think that's going to be a that could be a difficult issue. So you know do you fog it on or do you actually you know spray it at it or whatever you know and we got to be able to get to clear evenly completely through the entire wheel with the design that we're going to go with and um, you know a lot of a lot of you might be thinking well why be so intricate um, with the wheel like this um, you know what about brake dust and things like that I really don't think brake dust is going to be an issue uh, we're going to have regenerative braking on this vehicle so I don't think we're going to use very much brake from the car uh, certainly not the amount of brake that it would normally use and uh, if we do have a brake dust problem I can always change the pad to maybe a ceramic pad or whatever I'm not big on ceramic pads but whatever we have to do but I don't really think brake dust is going to be a problem or an issue so I think uh, I think it's going to come out fine so what we're going to do I'm going to like I said, I'm going to send Greg the basic collars. Um, he may be adding collars and whatnot, um, which is cool. Um, this is, the design is basically his. Uh, you know, I got a few little points on it that I want to, uh, that, that I'm kind of wanting on it. Um, I definitely want a plain white face. Um, we've been talking about, um, you know, I kind of maybe want some lettering in here in the lip. Um, not exactly sure, kind of a little bit flexible there, but um, the rest of the design, um, all the artwork and everything else is going to be Greg's. Um, I'm pretty confident that I've conveyed to him uh, what I want, but you know, um, his design is way more than what I ever really ever thought of. So that's that. So this is going to happen. Um, <clears throat> I got to get all the wheels prepped. I got to learn how to clear coat them. Um, then we're going to all sand the wheels down and we'll put primer on them. Uh, Checking with, uh, with VW Darren and them down there um, in case uh, I need to use a special primer. Uh, hopefully, I don't. Uh, this wheel is powder coated. Um, I don't know much about powder coating. Um, so I'm hoping I can just use the uh, MP3HS primer on it. So we got to sand the. I got to learn to clear coat uh, the wheel. Then we're going. I'm going to sand the wheels completely down. Uh, you know, as far as I can. Uh, you know, I don't want to get into the bare material, but we want to get them sanded uh, thoroughly because we don't want any heavy buildup. 
you know we got to we I don't want any build up we, to keep the line sharp and all that and then once they're in primer then I have to go ahead and sand them down uh, for paint then we'll be ready to come together on the project and uh, I don't think that's going to happen before March uh, because of our schedules um, Greg's working on a big project at work and um, and I think it's going to be uh, towards the spring when this all comes together which is fine so that that guys is the is the deal on the wheels so watch both our channels I guess on the wheels um, because Greg's going to do separate things than I'm going to do so hopefully we'll get this uh, we'll get a fixture made here before long um, now that I got the wheel I can see uh, what kind of what kind of a situation I need uh, to make it spin because there's different uh, if you look here there's you know there's undulations in in here and uh, you know we got to get something that's going to run on there and you know we don't want it to fall off for sure so there we go that's the wheel project within the Civic project so stay tuned guys take it easy